as Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords continues her rehab in Houston, her husband is set to announce his future plans. And by that, we mean whether he will stay by her side as he has been nearly since this happened, or perhaps continue on and go into space. Astronaut Mark Kelly is scheduled to command a space shuttle mission in April. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy has more on his very difficult decision. As you can imagine, the last month has been the hardest time of my life and the hardest time of my family's life. Mark Kelly has been the very symbol of dedication. He's rarely left Gabrielle Gifford's bedside, literally holding his wife's hand as she recovers from being shot in the head. On that fateful day in Tucson, Kelly was in Houston, training to command the space shuttle Endeavor. As many of you know, I'm an astronaut. I've been fortunate on three separate occasions in my life to look down at this planet from space. Now Kelly has to make the agonizing decision on whether to leave his wife to make a fourth trip into space. The shuttle launches on April 19th for a 14-day mission to the International Space Station. Well, you know, if Gabby had the decision to make, she would tell her husband, go ahead and go fly. And liftoff of Endeavor. Kelly will do just that. According to the website Politico.com, he will fly on the next mission. NASA is likely scrapping the shuttle program, so this would be Kelly's last chance to orbit the Earth. This is a tremendous decision for him because he's worked towards this goal his entire life. If that's what he decides to do, he will put 100% into it. Gabrielle Giffords is doing her rehabilitation in Houston, in part because it is close to the Johnson Space Center where Kelly trains. After seeing firsthand how violent life on Earth can be, Kelly seems to long for a better view. You have an entirely different perspective of life on our planet. But in case Kelly decides now is not the time to leave Earth, NASA has named a backup commander. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.